Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Kachuk. I don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it. This game was actually sent by the publisher, Lifestyle Board Games from Russia. I got in this package with all of this Russian all over it. Um, and I think, if I recall, uh, they said that this was the like uh, the sound, uh, onomatopoeia, or the sound of a rubber band like being drawn. Or maybe I'm forgetting, and it means like territory control. But um, they sent me a number of games to look at, and this one caught my eye because this is a rubber band territory control game. And what you're going to be doing, and I'll get into it more, but is you are, go you are going to be using rubber bands to take over areas on this board uh, between the pegs. So, super neat idea uh, here. And so, uh, you can't, let me, let me do this. So, on this board, you'll notice there, other than the missing pegs, there's a ton of resources on the board and symbols next to each of the peg holes. And so basically, really simple game. Like, okay, this game is simple and complex, but in a really good way. Uh, everyone starts with cards, and based on the the later you, you turn orders, like first player gets whatever, four, five, six, seven, so you don't always start with the same amount of cards, whatever. But basically, cards are these symbols, and these symbols are pretty, and they match the symbols on the table. And essentially, on your turn, um, you draw two cards. Oh, and there's like a, a river, so you could draw from the river. It's like Ticket to Ride. You can draw from the river or draw from the top. Um, but you draw uh, you draw two cards, and then you're going to place a rubber band. And you do that by discarding the symbols that you're going to place your rubber band on. So if you want to place between two, the red and the yellow, I'll discard these and pull out my rubber band and put it between the red and the yellow. Um, there are different shapes allowed. There's like a straight line, a triangle, and a parallelogram. You can't just like the rubber band wouldn't even support it, but you can't, like, you're limited to the types of shapes you can do, but everyone's sitting there and, and growing this thing. Now, if any time anyone contains uh, resources on the map, they get it, and it's a one-time, you know, as soon as they take it, they get it, and um, you could do that by putting it within your little triangle, or if you make, like, a bigger region that's completely closed off within your stuff, you then can also get it. So it's, like, area control within your band or creating a big fence. Um, and... You know, other little rules are, uh, you know, uh, you can discard two cards of the same color to be a, a, a band uh, to pick any two card, two same cards, sun and a sun, to pick whatever you want. But then there are a couple other really interesting rules. One rule is if you've already connected a, an area, a peg, and it's your peg, then you can use that as part of another connection for free. So if I wanted to then do a three here rather than blue, red, uh, blue, red, yellow, I would just need red and yellow because I own blue. So there's a nice growing territory control. Also, if you want to spend and move over other people's territories, again, you can't steal th resources from them, uh, but you want to move over other territories, you have to pay somebody if you use a peg they're on, just once. But So there's a lot of... The, the card... Because you can spend one or two or three or four cards on your turn, there aren't that many. So card hand management is like a big deal in this game. So, you know, paying, giving somebody your cards to use their territory is like pretty significant. On the board, uh, when I lifted it, you might notice there's basically yellow coins and blue crystals. The yellow coins are victory points. The blue crystals uh, are power. And you can trade three of these once per turn to do another action. Um, draw more cards or place, a, you know, another rubber band. So, it works. It's quick. It's pretty easy to explain. Uh, the rubber bands are great. The, the board really is tight and works well. The, this little side thing is a little flimsy. I don't know if that's because the box is a little damaged shipped from Russia. Not sure. Oh, and I have no idea if this game's available and where and how. Right? Like, so this may be impossible to find. If it is, I apologize. Here's the super amazing thing. So the game I just described is engaging and fun and interesting, and you can play, and even in the base game, there's a rule set where you, one of the things you're doing is trying to get to the other side of the board to get some bonus points. There is all of these sheets. I mean, many, and these are, these are really nice sheets, nice sort of quality. All different. All different art. I mean, you know, it can be, they're a little busy, but totally works. And then there's, in the rule book, there's this scenario guide, and each one of these sheets has different rules and mechanics. Hey, in this territory control, you're trying to get the most totems in the middle of the board. Or in this one, 
you can do different shapes you couldn't do before. Or in this one, it's limited to a certain amount of rounds. Or this map is only for three players, but this map is for four players, and that map is for two players. This is an awesome example of where you have a simple mechanic, and then you sort of elevate it by just layering on different ways of playing and different additional mechanics and different goals and different objectives. And it's really done well. The cards fit in easily. The base mechanic's clear. Um, I was really impressed with this. I totally dig it. Uh, and the rules are pretty clear. I mean, I had no problem understanding and reading through the rules. Um, and so other than, I don't know if this is easy or hard to get, if you're, you want something that feels a little different and they like pretty simple territory control, like sort of all ages territory control, uh, I definitely uh, dig it. I mean, be careful with the rubber bands and small animals and stuff because, uh, uh, you know, rubber bands are dangerous. But other than that, uh, very, I, I dug this. I'm very happy they sent it across. Uh, and, and it's a game I think I'm going to show to some other people because I think it, it's got a lot of neat little elements to it. So anyway, this is Kutuk, or however you pronounce it. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.